listening to the NFL Draft Bible Podcast Network, part of Sports Illustrated, giving you daily NFL Draft, Dynasty, and Debbie Fantasy Football Podcasts. Class is back in session. We are kicking off the Fantasy Football Rookie Profile Series. My name is Matt Hicks at the FF underscore educator, joined by John Lobb, the Gridiron Scholar at Gridiron S C H O L 91 on Twitter, our favorite time of the year. We are breaking down the fantasy football impact of the incoming rookie class. John, how are you feeling today? I'm feeling great. I spent a lot of this week studying the prospects we're looking at, specifically JV and Hawkins. So I'm ready to share with our viewers. Absolutely, John. So let's go ahead and let's jump into it here with our fantasy football profile for JV on Hawkins. Now Hawkins, John, an explosive dynamic back out of Louisville. As always, we'll start by talking about production. Then we'll get into his tape review. So give us the background here on JV on Hawkins. In high school, my friend, he was the nation's number 21 all-purpose back by 24-7 sports. And he was a three-star recruit, so he's not going to get all of the national publicity that five-star and four-star recruits get, players like Cam Akers and Najee Harris. So he goes a little bit under the radar when he shows up on Louisville at the national level. I found out his nickname in high school was PlayStation. Absolutely love that because when you watch him, he looks like a PlayStation video when you play the game. He had over 4,000 yards rushing and 40 touchdowns in high school. Amazingly, he ran a 4.37 in the 40-yard dash. I'm always a little bit reluctant to believe those high school times because they're not official. But I get into context, which means he's very fast. And he was a top spark athlete in high school. When he finally got his chance in 2019, he was second team all ACC. And I played college fantasy football, and he was one of the best waiver wire pickups of the 2019 season. He established a school record with 1,525 yards rushing. What a tremendous year he had. In 2020, he only totaled 822 rushing yards. He didn't get used as much. They played a few less games, and he didn't have as many breakaway runs as he did the year before. Over the past two years, Matt, he has eclipsed 100 yards rushing 12 times and 200 yards once. He's a fascinating prospect, and you, everyone, I recommend watching the film and tape on JV and Hawkins. You're right, John. Explosive back. There's a lot to like about Hawkins. Let's jump into his tape breakdown a little bit more. So for Hawkins, there's four key traits that really stick out to me, and John, you alluded to it there with the PlayStation comment. He is ah. first and foremost an athlete. He scores really hard, a really high there on my grading scale. He hits the B button. You know, he's got that spin move. He's got the juke move. He does what he has to do, and he's very dangerous in open space. But really at the heart of his athleticism, John, is that change of direction ability. We're going to flip on the tape here in a second, and you're absolutely going to see the athleticism. You talked about the speed, a verified 4.36 high school 40 time. He doesn't always look the fastest pure line speed, but he looks quick, and he's a good lateral mover. And that really shows through on a Louisville offense where it was hard to find space. A lot of the times Hawkins was creating space and it goes back to that vision. He has the ability to see the entire field and he had to develop that in order to survive and thrive with the Louisville Cardinals. One thing, John, I don't think he's given enough credit for. He's a little bit smaller of a back, but he uses that size very well. He's got good contact balance, a low center of gravity, and he has good strength behind him. He is 195 pounds, and he uses all 195 pounds to get the job done. With that being said, John, you ready to flip on the tape? Absolutely, my friend. All right, our favorite part here. All of our tape, by the way, provided by Debbie Deep Dive, Brandon Lejeune. And you can see 
right off the bat here, he's starting off with a with a nice cut move. He finds the hole and he's able to bounce to the outside here. And that's a consistent trait for him. His ability to find Ooh. the hole, bounce to the outside. Look at the breakaway speed here against Pitt. He takes the ball at the 40 and it's a straight line acceleration. And it is a foot race at the end, but he's able to beat out these Pitt defenders. Now we got another shot from Western Kentucky here. Look at the way he navigates. He navigates to find that space in that contact balance, John. He just dragged three Western Kentucky defenders forward to finish that play. Oh, yeah. And look at that spin move he just had there. He is much tougher than you would think. If you just look at his size, you might think he's a little, you know, he's not a strong back. But when you watch the film, this young man is tough. Absolutely. Look at the way he's shaking off Miami defenders here. And both of those last two plays we showed, it took three or four guys to bring him down. And again, look at this bounce. Look at this change of direction ability. He's dangerous in the open field. Look at that contact balance, Sean. It might just be two or three extra yards, but the NFL loves that mentality. Oh, absolutely. I mean, as a coach and a fan, I love it. So you know the NFL is going to love it, my friend. Absolutely. And they are downfield uh, against uh, Notre Dame here. We start to see some of those hands. So he does have the ability. He wasn't used or asked to catch the ball a whole ton in the Louisville offense. But when he was asked to, he could track the ball, react to the ball well. Again, against Georgia Tech here, an example, he takes on this defensive back head on and he wins the battle. He drags him forward. He has the ability to translate this to the next level. And you know what I really love as we watch these clips, Matt? He takes the ball between the tackles, and he has great vision and lateral agility to bounce it outside and then explode upfield. Absolutely. Very well said, John. So this is, you know, like you mentioned, it's not first-round traits, but there's a lot of upside here for Javion Hawkins. All right, John, as we kind of finish up here our film review on Javion Hawkins, uh, any final thoughts here to share? Absolutely. When you look at these two... 2020 season, yards from scrimmage, he had 949. But what I like, he had scrimmage yards dominator of 19%. And one thing that I'll add, there are different reports on his size and height. On the Louisville site, he's 5'9", 182. Let's see what he, we need an official measure. I hope he can get up to 190. I would be concerned if he's below 170 or 175 in that range. But he is a lightning bug with slippery feet. We saw it on the film. This young man can play in the NFL. I am a little bit worried. We saw some nice catches there. He only has 21 in his career. So let's see how the NFL evaluates his pass catching. I do think he can do it. We just don't have a lot of evidence in the production profile or on film. Absolutely, John, but definitely somebody that fantasy football players should be keeping their eye on and are currently getting at a good value. Make sure to subscribe, whether you're watching on YouTube or listening in on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Periscope, wherever you're watching or listening. Please make sure to subscribe. If you have not left us a review on Apple Podcasts yet, we would really appreciate a five-star review. And if you haven't given us the thumbs up on this video yet on YouTube, please make sure to go ahead and do that. We appreciate you listening. Class is officially over. Pencils down.